It's great. It's great news and not shocking news. Tonight at 10, we continue following a big development out of Butler County that happened a little bit earlier today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. 12 years after Caitlin Markham disappeared and 10 years after her remains were found, police arrested John Carter, who was her fiance at the time. We have team coverage tonight. Jessica Schmidt's been following this case for years. Yeah, she joins us with where the investigation stands right now. Also, Chancellor Wynn's going to dig into who John Carter is, but let's kick it off with Jessica. Well, for more than a decade, Caitlin Markham's loved ones have waited for answers in her case. Now, with an arrest made, Caitlin's father feels they're closer than ever to getting justice for her. Caitlin Markham was a warm, loving, and compassionate young woman. Her father, Dave Markham, says she had big goals, but she never had the chance to accomplish them. You know, Caitlin was a beautiful woman, and a lot of people who never knew her just fell in love with her and, and followed her story. In August 2011, Caitlin vanished from her Fairfield townhome. Her fiancé at the time, John Carter, reported her missing. Search crews, often led by director of EquiSearch Midwest, Dave Rader, spent countless hours looking for her. I mean, the amount of people that came out, I mean, every time that we asked for the public's assistance, we had anywhere from 250 to 300 people. Uh, in and around the community that wanted to to participate and, and find one of their own. By April of 2013, those searches came to an end. That's because Caitlin's remains were found in a wooded area in Indiana, about 30 miles away from her home. It wasn't until February 2023 we saw the first arrest in this case. Jonathan Palmerton, described as someone who ran in the same circle as Caitlin, is facing perjury charges, accused of lying to investigators. Even though it's just perjury, yes, I felt at that point that we're near the end. Investigators with the Butler County Prosecutor's Office also recently searched two properties on warrants, the home where Palmerton lived in 2011 and the house where John Carter lived in 2011, which is his mother's current home. Now, only weeks later, Carter is sitting in jail, arrested on two counts of murder. I'm numb and I'm shaking, and but I'm, I'm so relieved. It's not a surprise. I mean, I did suspect him all along. I think a lot of a lot of people, if not the vast majority of people suspected him. Private investigator J. Ryan Green, who worked Caitlin's case for years, says when he interviewed Carter, Carter's timeline did not match up with phone records. From that point, getting to her house, looking for her, calling certain people, calling her dad, yelling, screaming, Caitlin's missing. Um, you know, I broke those records down and what he was telling me didn't match what the records said. A lot of people saw this coming over the years. We were just wanting to know when it was going to happen. For Dave Markham, he believes this could mean he and Caitlin's sister, Allie, may finally see justice. I appreciate and love everybody who's, who's taken Caitlin in their heart and followed her story and kept her alive. And I think now, soon, I, I hope she can rest, rest in peace. Prosecutors are not revealing many details about what led to Carter's arrest to protect the investigation. We know the indictment has been sealed. We'll keep you updated. Jessica Schmidt, Fox 19 now. Jessica Schmidt covered the story, which you can find inside Cincinnati's Crime Vault. You can watch that episode wherever you stream. Jessica also has a podcast called Cincinnati's Crime Vault Beyond the Broadcast. You can download it free wherever you get your podcast. And we promise team coverage, Chancellor Wynn, We'll have a deep dive into who John Carter is that's coming up at about 1030.